Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to do the uh, Python implementation of grid search CV. As you can see on my screen that I have imported few libraries. Before doing that, uh, I'm going to tell you what actually grid search CV is or when it is required. So basically assume that you are a data scientist and you are given with a problem. And let's say you have to classify, you have, uh, you have to classify among some patients that a particular patient will have heart disease or not and uh, you have let's say three models four models two model whatever models in your mind to solve that particular problem uh, uh, and uh, the problem doesn't end here that you have so many models to choose from what is the best model for your problem uh, the problem uh, extended is when uh, your model can have a number of uh, hyperparameters. Hyperparameters as in like when I'm creating an object of my model, it have a number of parameters to be passed uh, uh, inside it. And those parameters can take values, different values. So the point here is that let's say if I test my model with one set of one set of values and uh, I get some accuracy and I'm not sure uh, what other set uh, what are the other set which can give me a better accuracy or better score? So this is the problem. And for this, we use grid search CV basically uh, to find the best model among different model and even the best model with the best parameters. So I'm going to, to I'm going to do the um, um, uh, Python implementation of it. So as you can see that I have uh, imported required libraries and after that I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the uh, read my uh, CSV file, basically my uh, data frame. So for that uh, I I have this in my pandas library and i'm going to show it you to you what is what this data set is as i shared with you that uh, we are let's say we are a data scientist and we are given with this data so this data is about uh, that a, a particular patient will have heart disease or heart uh, attack or not or uh, heart stroke or not so you are given with like let's say age sex chest pain type resting blood sugar serum cholesterol fasting blood sugar all these uh, different types of parameters are given and target is the variable which basically tells you that a particular patient have heart heart disease or not zero means he does he or she doesn't have one means that a particular patient have so this is my data and now this problem can be solved with uh, let's say three three different models so i'm going to try three different models i will show it to you one by one so for that uh, but going there before going there that uh, i'm going to do the basic things first like i'm preparing my x and y variables so for that i what i have done i have dropped uh, target column from my uh, data frame and the new data frame i kept into x variable with and which is my the independent features and y is my target variable so you can see that all these are my x and this is my y target is my y and after that uh, what we can do we can do the like train test split as we usually do so for that uh, uh, what we can do is like this way and uh, train test split you can pass x y test size and the random state you can pass anything after doing the train test split what we can do next is let's say i want to uh, uh, I want to test my uh, random forest classifier model. So uh, for that, I created an object of random forest classifier. And I so these uh, these are the hyperparameter for which I was talking earlier. So max depth and max feature. So when you uh, press a shift tab, then you will be able to see. So these are the hyperparameter. So n estimators create. Uh, criteria based on which you want to create uh, your uh, your random forest classifier object minimum sample split so these can be n number of and these parameter can take n number of values so you can think of that how this problem grow, grows uh, with the different number of parameter and these parameter can different can take different values and let's say 
uh, you have to test uh, let's say three or four uh, such type of uh, models so then you gets kind of you know trapped into this problem so first i am going to show you one by one how these models are behaving let's say i created an object of random forest classifier with this parameter and their value as 3 and 5 and then i am doing the training and after doing my training what i can do is i can check the score like how my model is doing so for that i am doing rfc dot score and passing my testing data set testing subset so you can see that it is uh, getting 0.81 that means 81% of accuracy now the same way uh, let's say i want to check my model for logistic regression as well so how my logistic regression model is doing in on this problem so you can we can do it like creating an object of it then fit doing the fitting that means you are doing the training and then checking the score so the same way you can see that it is also giving as 81 percent of the accuracy now let's say we want to take one more model and we take a svm classifier so for the same again i am doing the same thing i am creating an object of uh, svm classifier with let's say these three parameter and there are some certain values let's say kernel is linear c is 3 and gamma is auto and then i am doing the fit uh, fit and then i am checking the score so you can see that now here we have three models and these three models are taking different parameters and these different parameters can take different set of values and i we have to choose the best model with the best parameters so to solve this problem one way is is to check manually like every time i keep changing these uh, parameter values and keep noting down my scores and then i come uh, after doing that much of manual work and then i check i'll say that this is my best model if this is really tiresome uh, uh, other than that what we can do is we can use grid search cv so here comes uh, in rescue grid search cv in grid search cv what we do uh, so let me show it to you so what we do a uh, grid search cv what we do so you press a shift tab here and you will be able to, to uh, see the method signature here. So in grid search CV, what we do, we create an object of grid search CV. Then we pass the model and then we pass the parameter grid. Parameter grids, let's say uh, uh, I pass the object of random forest classifier. I'm just taking an example and uh, I want to test my uh, model with different values of this max depth and max feature let's say 10 10 different values of it so we pass uh, that grid here and the uh, the one more thing which i am going to show you is like the this one scoring scoring is also an important parameter scoring tells us that based on what attribute i should score this model so here we are going to take accuracy so let me implement this so to implement this what we are going to do we are going to uh, you know kind of create uh, my parameters uh, so let's say first i'm going to show it this uh, grid search cv with one model then i'm going to extend it with all the three models so uh, here what i'm going to do i am going to check the best random forest model uh, with these attributes and their values could be from 10 to 15 and 0 to 5. So I have created a list and inside this list I have a dictionary object. So basically which contains max depth and max depth can have values from 10 to 15 and max feature can have values from 0 to 5. So now once I have re these ready so what I can do is like I can um, create an object of grid search cv as i told you grid search cv pass the model and then pass the parameter cv tells us the how many times we want to do the cross validation cross validation as in uh, 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 you can check my previous video on k fold cross validation what we do so cv is that parameter and scoring is as i told you based on accuracy please uh, uh, please uh, evaluate my model so for that after doing this after creating an object of it what i am going to do i am going to do the training on this and then this 
CLF dot with this object, CLF dot best params will give me the best parameter among these. So this is going to take uh, some time because we have, let's say we have to test on a list of uh, these values. And uh, since our data set is also of significant size, so till then we can. So you can see that it is telling me that the best score can be get for random forest classifier uh, when max depth parameter have value 10 and max feature have value 3. So you that means uh, it means that I should create my random forest classifier like this way. So let me show it to you. So it is showing me that max depth should be 10. So that means I should pass as 10 and max feature should be my 3 and let's say uh, I am making as RFC1 and once I do this then RFC1 dot fit then what I can do is like I can pass my X chain and Y train and uh, I want to check that with these parameter like what is my uh, score is coming or my accuracy is coming so what I am going to do is RFC1 dot score and inside that I can pass my X test and my Y test. So if you see that, see, you can see it's magic that it is giving me 99%. That means almost 100% of accuracy. And earlier we were uh, testing or we were creating our model with these parameters. So this is telling me, this is the power of grid search CV. This is telling me that, okay, boss, with these parameter out of the value of these, these values, this is the best combination you should create. Now, if I extend the same thing for, let's say, uh, the other models that we have created, like logistic regression and uh, the other one is SVM classifier, the same way what I, uh, as I have earlier done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a dictionary of my model parameters. And for each model, I have, uh, I have created an object of model and I'm passed the parameter. So basically this is just, uh, so once I have done this, so you can see that uh, uh, now my model params are ready. So now after my model params are ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate over these model params. So this, this basically, these are the model that I'm, I want to test. So, and, uh, I would need, uh, scores, uh, I'm going, what I'm going to do, uh, I will, I'm going to need a list of scores. So in this list what we are going to do, we are going to append the score of each model with, uh, its respective combination of parameters. So. What I what we are going to do in this is like we are going to create an object of uh, grid search CV with the given model. So what we are doing, we are iterating over this model params which we just created, and, and then after this, creating passing that model inside the estimator and parameters, and the rest all things are seen. And after that, uh, what we need to do, we need to train our model. And uh, after training our model, uh, what we need to do, we need to basically uh, append our scores. Uh, so for that, uh, wh what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do like this way. So my scores dot append inside this, I'm passing a dictionary object with, with this model name, best score and my best parameters. Fine. And after that, uh, what I can do is uh, for the best purpose, what I can do is like, I, I can kind of to show it to you, I can uh, uh, kind of, you know, add this into a data frame, create this. So I'm going to append, uh, it create a data frame of this course and the columns are these. And so once it runs, then you would be able to see like out of these three models, we have tested, let's say these, uh, these parameters, let's say for SVM, I have tested value of C 
one ten and twenty, and kernel RBF and linear. For random forest, I have tested my values in this range: max depth and max feature. And logistic regression, I have tested value of C as one five and ten. So these are the combination with these uh, models and. it is going to train uh, run over it and will pick the best model with the best scores so you will be able to see it it may take certain time because our data set is heavy and we are going to you know uh, do it is uh, do it on a number of uh, kind of different combination so it creates a big matrix uh, now it has run and now you can see that uh, for model svm best score is 93% and best parameters are c is equal to 1 and kernel is equal to rbf so you can see that uh, we have passed this combination three values for this and two values for this so it is saying that best parameters in this case are One and RPF, and the same way uh, for random forest, it is saying that max depth should be eleven and max feature should be one, and by doing so, you can get ninety-seven percent of your score. So you can see that here is the value that we have tested for max depth from a range of ten to fifteen and max feature, and the same way logistic regression, and it is saying that with the C value of five, you can guess. Get best score for logistic regression is eighty four percent. So this is how you can uh, get the best model and even the best model with best parameters and their values. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to learn about more about machine learning, I have a complete machine learning playlist. for absolute beginners you can just check it out and if you really want to learn it please go step by step and i'm sure you will be able to do really great thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel see you next time